Hello. On behalf of the East Lansing Film Festival, we proudly present one of this year's documentaries, Bablo Boats, A Detroit Fairy Tale. Fifty Cub Scouts running around on the boat and we'd run up to Captain Bablo and say, can we have a coloring book? Can we have a coloring book? Captain Bablo, you know, he was uh, maybe four foot four inches. I want to say his name was Joe Short. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, I think that was his name, yeah. He was like kid size, so that made him not scary. My favorite thing ever was the third floor dance floor. Those, those were my jams. I'll, I'll go into a pub now and I go to the jukebox and my girlfriend will say, you're, you're not doing the Bablo boat music, are you? And I'm like, oh yes, oh yes, it's gonna happen. Oh, I always wanted to hover near an exit so that if we didn't have enough life jackets, I could get off the boat and tread water. We were uh, skiing around the Bablo boat naked <laughs> watching people running from one side of the boat to the other to the point where the boat was listing. Sorry, Mom. The best part, though, was taking the moonlight cruises. The, the boat would be full, but you could always find that one nook, that one little corner somewhere where you could sit and put your arm around your girl. Her name was Serena Artiago. We hugged and stuff. Were you on there as a young teenager kissing the boys in a hidden section of the boat? I'm, at one time, I'm sure I was. If you only get to spend a few hours with them, then you never see them again. You never see them again. <laughs> that was one good thing, you know? It was a part of summer. It was a changing of the season. Some people watched for the robins to come back. All the kids waited to hear the Bob Lobo whistle.